Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have another foundation to try out for you guys today. This one comes to us from Laura Mercier and this one is her new Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. The shade I picked up is shade Chiffon, which is 1C2. It's described as fair with cool undertones. I usually don't go for cool undertones, so we're going to give this a shot today for the next two days, actually. Two-day, 10-hour wear. If you guys want to see how it goes, keep on watching. So let's start by pinning back this hair. I got my hair done yesterday. Really happy about that. Got my roots done and she added a little bit of a, a golden touch to it, which I don't mind at all. I even got like a nice, I told her, I want a good, a good trim, like a noticeable trim. So that's what I have got going on this morning. Now this foundation, it does come in 30 different shades. I think that's pretty good. It retails for $48. It says it's going to provide medium coverage with a natural finish. It also says something about being waterproof or water resistant. We'll see. I'll see if I can try that out along the way. It is in a frosted glass bottle and you do get, of course, a pump, which I love. I've had several other Laura Mercier foundations in my stash and they've all worked really well for me. So I do have high expectations going into this one. One thing that I want to point out about this foundation, like the Gucci foundation that I just tried, they're both made with uh, that type of bamboo extract powders. So that's also going to help control oil, especially in the T-zone. For me, I am a normal to oily skin type and I'm 40 years old, by the way, be 41 very soon. But um, this shade, I typically go more for warm uh, or light to fair shades with neutral to warm undertones. This is described as fair with cool undertones. So I'm a little curious to see how this one is going to wear or how it's going to look on my skin. We'll see. You know, spring is coming up. I am going to be developing a little bit of a tan. So if it kind of looks a little dark, I think it's something I can grow into. Let's try it out. Um, I'm smelling like a natural scent to it. It's not like a fragrant scent. So I'm going to use my BK101 to start off with. Yeah, this might be a smidge too, too dark. But I'm not seeing cool undertone from this. I'm seeing warm undertone from this. Now it also says it has some like 3D high resolution powders that are supposed to be blurring and smoothing. You know, I guess I can see that right there. That looks really smooth. And this is the area where I do uh, tend to build up coverage. I do have larger pores like on my nose and in through this area. I have um, old acne scars, minor discoloration in that area as well. But see, as you can see, as I'm blending it down my neck, um, not an exact shade match, but I don't think it's absolutely terrible. This feels very lightweight, and I'm noticing that a little is going a very long way. So I think you're going to be able to get lots of use out of this product. I might have pumped out too much, especially because I'm using a brush. I think if uh, you use your sponge, you'll be able to shear it out more, but you'll probably be using more product. This is looking really good. I'm like seeing full coverage out of this. I'm not seeing medium coverage. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot. Now it also says that it's going to give us 12 hours of wear. I'll be wearing it for, actually, I'm gonna be wearing it for more than 12 hours, but I'm doing the re review cutoff today at 10 hours because I am going to get my nails done after work. So I don't know what time I'm gonna be getting out of there. So I don't wanna, I'm going to do like the end of the day check-in right before I go in and, and get my nails done. But okay, first impression, this looks really good. Really good. No foundation, foundation. Like I'm, I'm very impressed. Now I'm going to go in with my damp beauty sponge and I'm going to pick up what I have on my hand and we'll start bouncing this. I love a natural finish foundation. I think for me right now, as I'm getting older, 
I think a natural finish or like the foundation, uh, the Gucci foundation, a luminous matte foundation. I think those are some of my favorite types of finishes. Um, I don't mind a full on matte foundation, but I do like to have a glow. So I'm really glad that this category of luminous matte has been created because I think it serves several different purposes. And for me, um, I am going to have to pump out a little bit more, but um, for me, I get the best of both worlds. I get to glow without being overly shiny. Now, originally I had ordered this from Sephora when it came out and my order said it was supposed to be delivered by a certain day. That day never arrived. And so it's a good thing that they ended up getting a stock because originally those first two days that it was out, my store didn't have anything. But uh, yesterday I checked and they had it. And they didn't have all the shades, but they had this shade. And I was like, well, I'll just try this shade instead. And uh, I did that same day delivery. And here we are. That other foundation is still on the way. Who knows when it's arriving now. They didn't have an option when I ordered for like fast shipping. I mean, usually I, I pay, I hate to pay because like they've raised their shipping fees and stuff. But I mean, those of you who live outside of the US, you hear me about shipping costs, how super expensive they are. And, you know, it just, it does deter or it keeps people from ordering certain items. But yeah, I, I get you. I get all of you. I understand all of you when you say shipping is just too high to wherever you live. I totally understand that. This is looking beautiful. This is looking so, so beautiful. Um, I do think, again, the shade is a smidge off, but it's not terrible. I mean, it's definitely, definitely workable. Get my chuck and tip mirror here. Wow. I feel like this is more of um, the luminous finish, not necessarily a natural finish. I definitely have a glow going on. Next, I'm going to go in with this concealer from Laura Mercier. This is their, uh, what is it, Secret Camouflage Brightening and Correcting Duo. So it has two different um, little crayon sticks, one on each side. I'm going to go in with the correct side. And then if I need to add the brightening, I will. This is a really good concealer. This is a good one. Uh, and I have a review over this one. Um, if you want something that you don't necessarily need to wear powder with, this would be a nice place to start. I'm going to take my BK8506 and just use that to blend out. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't like to powder down your under eye area, this will work good either way. It has kind of like those self-setting properties to it. Okay, I think that looks really good. I don't even think I need to go in with the brightening side of that stick. I am going to lightly set the under eye area though with Cody Airspun. I think it's looking I think it's looking good um I don't know that now that I have it on I do kind of see some of my little imperfections peeking through so yeah it is a good medium coverage I would say this is maybe more along the lines of a higher end medium coverage foundation I really do like the finish of it though I think it looks beautiful so I'm gonna be wearing this for the next 10 hours and I'll do a midday check-in. I'll let you see how the complexion is looking during my lunch break and of course at the end of the day before I go get these nails done, um, I'll wrap up this day one wear test and um, I will give you guys some swatch comparisons towards the end of the video when I'm comparing this to other foundations that I have in my stash. Uh, possibly, you know, spot on dupes. I don't know. We'll see. I have to wear this to kind of get a feel for it and see what I feel um, it's similar to, but definitely I'll, gi I'll give you guys some alternatives before we wrap up the video and those swatches will be um, at the end as well. I hope you guys have a great day. I will check in with you all a little bit later.
Hey guys, five hour check in here with this new one from Laura Mercier and here's what the complexion is looking like. So I feel like I'm getting a little shiny already. I don't do any touch ups when I do these foundation reviews. So I definitely feel like I could benefit from some powder, a little blot in the T-zone, in particular the nose, but it it doesn't feel as tacky as some foundations do without powder. So I think that's a good thing. I love the finish of it. I love that it's a good medium coverage and it's that natural finish to where I'm not like, you know, excessively oily. I, I think tomorrow, like I say with all these foundation reviews, I think tomorrow is going to be like 10 times better, but it just gives a soft little glow without having like any glitter particles or like that, you know, added luminosity. It's just a true natural finish foundation. And I think it looks smooth. I think it looks blurring. I do think that bamboo powder extract that it has, I do think that's helping to control oil, but you know, I, I just know tomorrow is going to be so much better. I'm curious to see how this is going to look in five more hours. So I will be sure to check in with you guys then. Hey guys, this is the end of the day one wear test. And this is what the complexion is looking like 10 hours later. I'm definitely shiny, not too bad, but I think it's more noticeable on my nose than anywhere else. Um, I will say it's already caking up like right around here. All this area, this is typically what happens. I know you can see that there. This is typically what happens around this area. Usually at this point, especially if I haven't powdered down, which today is a no powder day. Um, everywhere else looks really smooth though. It looks really nice. And I do think that the shade is a really nice one for me. Um, I don't notice it accentuating texture or settling like right here. I don't know if you remember if you guys watch my Chanel, the new Chanel foundation review. I had taken the foundation down to here as I usually do. I have a line right here and the, that foundation actually settled in that line that I have on my neck. Didn't notice that today with this one. I don't feel like it oxidized any. It's a lightweight foundation and you know, it just, it doesn't feel as tacky as other foundations have felt um, without me powdering, powdering it down. So I think it did very well today on my normal to oily skin. I can't wait for tomorrow. I will check in with you guys in the morning. I'll let you know what helping products I went in with, let you see how the complexion is looking. And we'll do this all over again tomorrow. So stay tuned. Good morning, everybody. So this is day two of trying out the new foundation from Laura Mercier. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick look as to how my makeup is looking this morning uh let me tell you some of the products that i went in with i went in with huda beauty glowish blur jam for the primer for a concealer i'm wearing the uh, lancome concealer for setting powder the wet n wild photo focus and i have a little bit of charlotte tilbury bronzer on the powder one and i'm excited because i am going to be filming with the new profusion collection that recently dropped so you guys will probably see the profusion video go up the day before you watch this one so definitely be on the lookout for it um and i use the a uh, one size from patrick star on till dawn setting mist and this is how the complexion is looking i do want to mention that today i used a damp makeup sponge to apply and this stuff definitely helps to sheer the makeup out. So if you don't want that full medium coverage look, uh, definitely use your damp makeup sponge and it'll um, really sheer it out. And that's what I did. And I just kind of spot concealed on the sides of my cheeks. I did set all in this area. I pretty much set my entire face with um, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus powder, but I'm liking the way everything looks. This is definitely a very lightweight foundation. Like if you're looking for something that feels almost non-existent on the complexion, this might be something you want to check out, but I'm going to be anxious to see how it does today. And I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, so this is a five hour check in on day two. I have been busy all day long, indoors and outdoors. It's really hot. It's a little humid outside. And I've been taking off Valentine's Day decorations, putting up Easter decorations, laundry, you name it. So I've definitely spent a good portion of my day outdoors and I think this foundation is holding up so, so well. What a difference powder, primer, setting spray make. Like I feel like I still have a soft glow to my complexion, but I'm matte. Like I'm not oily. This feels so lightweight. It feels so comfortable. I am all about this foundation right now. 
I think it looks fantastic. It's just doing such a good job on my 40 year old normal to oily skin. Five more hours to go and I'll be back. We'll wrap up this video. I'll give you guys some alternatives, some swatches, all that good stuff. Stay tuned. Okay guys, time to wrap up this two day, 10 hour wear test with this new Laura Mercier foundation. This is what my normal to oily skin is looking like after 10 hours of wear, after being inside, outside, outside a good portion of my day in the South Texas heat. Yes, in February, we are in the mid to high 80s. A little bit of humidity out there today. This foundation is aces. I'm going to make the call right now and say that this Real Flawless foundation from Laura Mercier is probably going to be one of the best foundations of 2023. This is so lightweight. It provides beautiful coverage while still being a very thin consistency. I am not shiny. I am not excessively oily. I just love the way my complexion is looking right now. I don't feel like this is caking up. I mean, maybe just a little bit right here where the oil is starting to come through, but everywhere else, like this is looking so good. And I even think the shade for being a cool shade and I go more for neutral to warm shades. Uh, once again, I'm in shade 1C2 chiffon. I think the shade is pretty good. I mean, you can tell it's a smidge dark, but I don't feel like I'm getting a cool tone out of this. I don't know, let me know what you think. This just did exceptionally well. It did great today because I paired it with a setting powder, primer, setting spray. For me going forward, this is definitely gonna have to be the way that I wear this foundation. But I think this foundation really showed its versatility because I'm a normal to oily skin type and it did fantastic today, better than it did yesterday without me, you know, wearing powder and primer and all that. It also shows me that this foundation is going to be good for those of you with dry skin, with texture on your skin, and especially if you're mature skin because of how lightweight this formula is. I think that this foundation is definitely worth picking up. 48 bucks, that's Typical price point now at Sephora for foundations. Laura Mercier did a beautiful job with this one. I've always enjoyed her complexion products. Not so much the setting powder, but concealer and foundations, I've usually had a really good experience with, and this one is no different. I think out of all the Laura Mercier foundations I've tried, this has got to be my favorite. I said I was gonna do some swatches for you guys. So I'm gonna put this foundation shade right here in the middle of my hand and i want to swatch this next to two other foundations that i think are pretty good shade matches for me first is going to be the makeup by mario i have shade 2n in this one i think this is a really nice shade match on me um i've worn this several times already here's the makeup by mario 2n and then here is chiffon in laura mercier but i've worn the makeup by mario a few times already i got it when it came out back in december and you know i like it i know not everybody has had a fantastic experience with it but i mean i have to say like this foundation has done a really nice job uh, on my skin the next foundation i want to swatch is going to be the new one from kvd and this is a good apple serum foundation and this is another one that i got a cool tone shade in this one is shade light 10 okay so here is kvd there's laura mercier and there's makeup by mario n2 chiffon light 10 and this is a cool tone neutral tone and also a cool tone here in the center if you're gonna ask my favorite of these three i'm gonna tell you right now it's the laura mercier the laura mercier foundation just did such a great job today like i'm just so pleased with it. It just, it exceeded my expectations. When I compare this new one from Laura Mercier to the Gucci foundation that I recently reviewed on my channel, this one from Laura Mercier does such a better job and it does it at a much better price tag. That foundation is 69, this one is 48. That is a luminous matte finish and this is a natural finish and I love it. 
I cannot say enough good things about this, except that I think you might need to add this to your stash. Now I did tell you guys I was going to give you all some dupe alternatives from the drugstore in case 48 bucks is not in your budget to pick up the new one from Laura Mercier. I have you covered with two different foundations that you may or may not already have in your stash. The first one I pulled out is this one from L'Oreal and this is the True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I have the lightest shade in this one which is a shade very light. This does a great job on my 40 year old normal to oily skin. It lasts all day. It looks great all day. It's going to give you that light to medium coverage. This is definitely buildable but it stays looking fresh all day long. You definitely get like that natural finish from it. Um, I always have to powder this down uh, in the morning. I go in with primer and setting spray, the usual, and this lasts all day long. Another foundation that I feel performs very similar to this one from Laura Mercier comes to us from the drugstore and it's only $6. I'm talking about Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I recommend this one a lot, not just because it's affordable, but because it works. This has been in my stash for about what, a year and a half, ever since it was released, or maybe it's been two years now. This made like my best foundation. I think it was my best foundation of 2021. This is just a proven winner. I know so many of you out there, you love this foundation, not just because of the price tag, but because of what it can do. This is fantastic on my normal to oily skin. It keeps me matte where I want to stay matte and it lets me glow everywhere else on the complexion. I have this one in the shade Fair. It has hyaluronic acid. It has squalene. I've just, I've just loved this and I love it because it looks good for so long. Like I definitely get a full work days wear and beyond with this one. I just, I cannot say enough good things about this tinted hydrator. I do feel like between these two, the Laura Mercier is definitely Definitely the more lighter weight, the thinner consistency. But I think like all three, they're going to give you that same like natural finish and they're going to provide the same amount of coverage. Um, I forgot to mention the L'Oreal Tinted Hydrator. I think it's about like 17 or 18 bucks. This is on the higher price side of a drugstore foundations. So that is my review. This one from Laura Mercier is getting two thumbs up from me today. Love it did a great job. I just, I feel like this is going to be one of the best of 2023. Let me know in the comments down below if you've picked this one up. I know some of you have. I know some of you have received it already and you're saying great things about it. Let me know your thoughts on today's video and if this new foundation from Laura Mercier is going to be in your future. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys, drink your water, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!